Hey, 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 what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Stubbs, coming to talk to you about another police-involved death of a black man. Yes, today we're focusing on Karan Hilton, right out of Northwest Washington, D.C., who was killed on a scooter that he was riding on the streets. Now, the reports are saying that he was being chased by a 4th District Police Department a police officer, and the first report, which we're going to listen to this news report in a few, said that he hit some cars and then he was running and somehow he just just got hit, I guess, or lost control of the bike and ended up in the hospital with brain damage and um, they sent him as a John Doe and they pulled the plug and it's just, it's, it's not adding up to me. And I am a mom of two black boys, and I want answers for his mother, who I know is hurting at this time to have to bury her son at the age of 20. That alone should cause an outrage in people, especially moms, especially black moms. Something has to be done. You know what? Let's get into this first news clip. And um, let's see what they had to say about the incident. A mother desperate for answers. And a girlfriend left alone with a three-month-old baby. I'm in disbelief. After 20-year-old Karan Hilton died when D.C. police say they tried to pull him over for riding an electric moped on a northwest D.C. sidewalk without a helmet Friday, and he crashed. His girlfriend, Amala Jones Bay, says he was riding to retrieve his car keys from a friend's house. Over a moped and some car keys. My, he lost his whole life. Police say he hit another car, but friends say the cops hit him. They brought their anger to the 4th District D.C. headquarters Tuesday to protest, and tensions erupted. Protesters broke two windows. Police pushed them back, forming a line in front of the building. And for about 30 minutes, they stayed like that, with protesters demanding accountability. And they have yet to put out any police report, any body camera footage. Then it got volatile, with bottles and rocks thrown at police, the windows of a cop car destroyed, fireworks set off. But at the end of the day, this young mother's priority is her three-month-old daughter, who now has to grow up without a father. One thing for certain, two things for sure. She won't know her father loved her for one, most importantly, but she won't know her father. People are frustrated. Here we now have another child that has to grow up without a dad. We have another young black woman that has to now be a single parent raising this newborn baby because the child's father life was taken possibly by a police officer. What are we going to do, people? What do we do next after protesting to get answers, to get results? What more must be done to get respect, to add value and worth to our black men, our black people, our black children? I went down on this scene myself to see the protests and capture some footage and see what was going on. And um, here's what happened to the protesters as soon as I was walking up. This is exactly what I was able to witness. This here isn't fair. I'm not going like that. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, that's how you do this shit. Yeah, that's how you do this shit. 
That's crazy. Bitch ass nigga, I'll body slam you out here, bitch. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't you make weak that as shit. Don't you ever, don't you ever touch me again. Don't you ever touch me again, nigga. Don't you ever touch me again. I ain't move nowhere, you weak ass bitch. Get him up out of here. Yeah, master told you to move, Mitch Pitchell. I'm gonna follow you down there, bitch. I got you. I got you, nigga. I got you. I'm over here, too. I'm over here, too. Put your hands back on. Bye -bye, nigga. Bye -bye, nigga. Bro, did you pass that on camera? Yeah. Fuck these cooning ass police! Oh, 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 it's just feeling No, I didn't, and I put that shit in my eye. Take the shame. The fuck y'all bitches tripping. Trying to stay. It don't make you nothing to y'all bitches. Y'all just wanted to use me. The saddest part of the black people is that your ancestors were hung from trees, and you out here protecting the white man. As I am currently looking at the war, because that's what we are in, a war, that's going on right here in my country, it just makes me think, how do we have time to start wars and worry about wars and defend wars in other countries when we have a war going on right here in America? It seems like the police that were hired to protect and serve the people could care less about the people. Let's get into this second news report um, that was put up the next day, which was October the 28th, which really made me start to think like something fishy is going on. We need to see those um, body cams for answers. Now to a deadly scooter crash that's under investigation in D.C. Police say this was a traffic fatality involving two drivers. But the victim's family says tonight a police officer actually caused this crash. 20-year-old uh, Karan Hilton died last week. This new father had left his house to go find his keys that he had lost. He was on Kennedy Street when police tell us they tried to pull him over, but he didn't stop and was eventually hit by another driver. News Force Pat Collins spoke to the victim's girlfriend today about what the family believes really happened here. 
Police are calling it a traffic fatality. The victim's family says there's more to it than that. Here now, the story of the deadly moped crash on Kennedy Street. I plan to have a family with him. I got to replan out everything now. The victim, 20-year-old Karan Hilton. He died as a result of a crash on Kennedy Street Northwest. It happened last Friday. It happened on the day his baby girl turned three months old. His girlfriend says Hilton was on a moped, that police were chasing him, and that caused him to crash. It's just so frustrated and mind-boggling because this was so unnecessary. In a release today, police say Hilton was driving a moped without a helmet. They say police activated their emergency lights, tried to make a traffic stop that the moped then collided with a vehicle on Kennedy Street. Karan Hilton taken to the hospital. He was pronounced dead yesterday. His girlfriend says the family is looking for answers. So that was the second news report that came out the day after the first report. Um, which came out on the 27th. And I don't know about what you're hearing, but from my ears, it sounds like something fishy is going on. Where are the two drivers of the other two cars? Who's at fault for this if the police isn't at fault for this? There's so many um, questions that's going around in my mind and scenarios and... Um, and um, things that I, I think the family need to know and, and the public needs to know more of that they should just go ahead and release those body cams. The police body cams will, one, give us more information on how this started, help the family and the public to see how the um, crash or, you know, whatever took place and give us more understanding of why we should not blame the police for this. Otherwise, it seems like another police-involved death. If not, another killing by an officer. So you guys, I'm going to leave this time open for you guys to comment. Let me know what you think about this incident. Um, if you have any updates. Um, if you know something that we don't know. But this is a time for us to just voice our opinions, to put out how we feel about this and be supportive of one another while also encouraging one another to take the proper steps needed to put our own force behind things, to force these officers to protest to do what's right erupted. in this case. Protesters broke two windows. Something isn't right. The people are frustrated. Police pushed them back, I forming a line in front of the building. Bit, and, and for about 30 minutes, deserves. they stayed like that, with protesters it's your demanding accountability. The windows of a cop car destroyed. The Fireworks set off. Also check out our new series called Tales of the Hood on YouTube at just search the stub show on all platforms and you'll find it. I got to go, you guys. I'll be back with more updates and information as I get it. As I get it, you get it.